Hello, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set properly your C++ compiler in CMake in a way that you can have whatever standard you want, and the code that you write is also as flexible as possible. Let's get into it. So in here, I have some code that I've used in my previous uh, two videos, I think. So in particular, there's the uh, C++ uh, std find if video and the, uh, the transform video. You can check those out on the uh, links in the description. And basically what I have here is just a main file with a bunch of includes. And I've got a few um, struct definitions, such as the person here, which has some information about a person, person BMI, which is some data that I'm basically transforming these, these arrays into. Uh, he has an array and he has a main function here as well. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into the, the code details uh, because it's not really important to this video. What we do care about is the actual CMake behind this. So what you can see now is I've also got a uh, cmakelists.txt file. And in there, it's a very you know simple project uh, setup. I've only got a call to the project um, function in CMake. And I've also got a call to the add executable uh, function in CMake to create our main program, which in my case is called my program, and it comprises of the main.cpp file, this one here. And this is this is basically, yeah, this is all we're gonna need for this tutorial. But notice that I haven't actually told CMake anywhere and which C++ standard I want to use. And therefore my compiler is just gonna use the default version, which varies between uh, compilers and vendors. So if I basically try and configure this project and build it, as you can see here, uh, I am gonna get some errors. And this is because I'm actually using some C++ 17 structs here. So the string view is a class that's defined in the C++ 17 standard. And it's obviously not available by default on my compiler, unless I tell it, that I want to use C++ 17. And let's actually get into how you can do that in C++. So basically, what you're actually looking at setting in C++ are three main variables. Uh, one of them is called CMake CXX standard. The other one is called CMake CXX standard required. And the final one, which I also recommend using is CMake CXX extensions. Now, setting these three variables combined will basically tell CMake to properly set your compiler up in a way that your standard is gonna be set. And if the compiler doesn't support your standard that you want to set, it's not gonna work. And also it's gonna you know, either allow or disallow uh, compiler specific extensions. And we will talk more about you know, these extensions later. But let's just look at the first one. So CMake CXX standard. I'm actually on the C CXX standard uh, documentation here. Uh, because this is a property that's actually present in every sort of uh, target that you create in CMake. So for example, this add executable here that I've got on my main CMake lists, uh, my program is a target and that target has a property called CXX standard. Now you can set the CXX standard for each target that you have. You can set different ones for different targets if you want to, but I actually recommend setting all of them to one value and the actual initial value for every target that you create for this particular property here, CXX standard, is dictated by the initial value of the variable CMake underscore CXX underscore standard. And this is what it says on the documentation here. You can read about it if you want. I would recommend doing so. But on the very last line here, it says that this property is initialized by the value of CMake uh, underscore CXX underscore standard. So what I recommend doing is the following here. I'm gonna write the code and I'll explain what it does later. <laughs> This is basically the little bit of CMake that you're probably gonna want in every single one of your projects, particularly straight after your project call. You can see here that straight after my project call, I'm adding these two uh, variable settings here. And what this is doing is the following. The very first set, where in line three, where I say set CMake CXX standard 17, that tells CMake that I want to use the C++ 17 standard, and my compiler should have that. Now the other line here, line four, where I'm setting the CMake CXX standard required to on, CMake CXX standard required is a Boolean value that tells CMake, look, if you don't have this standard, uh, we're not going to, you know, it's not going to configure, it's not going to work. I was going to check that your compiler, and I'm assuming that you're using one of the main ones, such as GCC, Clang, or MSVC, uh, or anything that's sort of similar or compatible with these compilers. And if these compilers do support a particular standard that you set in CMake CXX standard, it's going to work. That's what my line is saying here. Now I could set this value to off, which means that it doesn't necessarily need to support that standard, uh, but you don't really want that because if you're setting a standard, you probably have 
or you're probably using features from that standard that you absolutely require for your code to compile. So I would always recommend to have this on whenever you set CMake CXX standard because you're going to need it. And the last and final uh, variable setting here on line five, set CMake CXX extensions. This you can turn uh, the compiler specific extensions either on or off and compiler extensions might be something like um, you know in GCC you can inline assembly code and there's specific there's a specific syntax for that you know that's a compiler extensions that is a you know on the C, on the GCC compiler if you have that sort of stuff in your code I would say you know you probably need this on uh, but for the most part if you're writing code that's going to work and it's going to compile for you know on all the compilers well, you know, most of the platforms, you probably want to turn this off to make sure that you're not using any sort of uh, forbidden extensions in other compilers. And this is basically, uh, I mean, once you reconfigure the project, as we're doing now here, and you build, you could see that, you know, now it should, in fact, build my entire code. And you can see that, you know, it's no longer complaining that string view doesn't exist here, uh, because it is, in fact, in the C++ standard. And my compiler, in this case, GCC, does have you know uh, that standard and you know it's pulling everything properly here and this is a very quick video and it's something that you, you should probably look out for on every project that you have if it's using CMake and I would recommend also reading the entire documentation on this because there might be some caveats that I have not mentioned in this video uh, but you know for the most part this is the code that you're going to be writing and before we finish I just want to ask you to you know please visit my website and check out my YouTube channel as well I have many, many posts related to, you know, CMake, C++ and software development in general. So you might find one or two of them quite useful. And that's it. I mean, if you've got any questions, if you've got any suggestions, feel free to drop a comment below and make sure to subscribe as well. Thank you and bye bye.